bit. Now at five, demand picking up as all Missourians become eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine. News for us team coverage tonight as efforts ramp up to get everyone a shot. News for us Caroline Hecker joins us live outside the dome at America's Center. And Caroline, you've seen much more demand there today. Definitely have, and part of that has to do with the fact that everyone is eligible now. FEMA says they're doing about 215 vaccines every hour. Now, people are starting to get off of work, so we're seeing a steadier stream, but you can also see that they have volunteers. They've got new flags out to help identify where people need to go in and just make the process a lot easier. Now, on a daily basis, this event is capable of doing about 3,000 doses, like I said, every day. But FEMA says if you're in line and they happen to reach that threshold, they will continue to vaccinate until everybody waiting gets their shot. This is really convenient. You know, they got it set up so good. You know, I mean, you can't do nothing but go directly to where you need to be. And, and that's instead of everybody scrambling around. Now, FEMA says based on prior events just like this one, turnout does tend to be high on the weekends when people are off of work. So just keep that in mind if you do plan on coming down. But of course, these events are designed to be able to handle that kind of volume. And a lot of the people we spoke to today say while they did have to wait in a short line, they were in and out in about 30 minutes. Well, I mean, it was pretty smooth. It was really quick. I mean, I think I was here maybe about 15, 20 minutes, but everything was really smooth, very organized, really easy. Now, FEMA says the majority of people that are coming to get their vaccines are actually walk-in appointments, which is totally able, you're able to do. Uh, they actually recommend walking in if you are due for your second Pfizer shot, and it's been at least 21 days. They recommend you do that. You walk in with your vaccination card, and that is because they say they are still working out some issues with the state's vaccine navigator, as well as the hotline that has been giving out some misinformation. So you're good. Just come on in, walk in with your card. We're live in downtown tonight. Caroline Hecker, News 4.